the same thing every day. Thank you, thank you so much. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Thank you, you're so sweet to me. You're just so sweet, huh? Welcome back, it is Wednesday today. It's Wednesday, are you excited about that? It's almost a weekend. Not that it matters to us because we work every single day, right? Every single day, no days off. No days off. Okay, so it is Wednesday today. I have to work at Sephora, um, and then I'm at the spa for the rest of the week, and then back to Sephora, so I don't really have any days off, but I figured I would vlog with you guys and just update you a little bit. I'm wearing this really comfy dress. Whoa, today's gonna flash me. Um, I'm wearing this really comfy dress from Sable Skirt. I got it like last year, but I love it. And I figured I would organize some of my makeup today because I did half of it with you guys last week or a couple weeks ago and I didn't finish it. And I'm moving in like 20 days or less than, yeah, less than 20 days. And I just need to get more organized. I'm a little bit stressed to be honest, but I did want to show a couple things. So I tried out a new foundation today and I received this free for review from Octoly and Givenchy. This is the Tent Couture Everwear. It's 24 hour wear, satin finish, full coverage and comfort SPF 20 foundation. So I'm wearing this today. It is really light for me. Like this would be my probably my palest winter shade. So I'm gonna have to actually purchase another one of these because I do really like it. Like my face feels so smooth like velvet and I like the way it looks on my skin. It makes everything look really smooth and flawless. So I do wanna purchase a deeper shade of this, but I do really, really like it. Um, you can find this, find this on Sephora.com and the Givenchy website. But yeah, so far so good with this. I mean, I only used it once and it was today. It's very light, but I like it. So I got that. Also, I got these. Now working at a spa, you constantly smell like so relaxing like it just smells so soothing and relaxing in the spa and i love that so it's made me want to get like more into like essential oils and sprays and whatnot so this is aromatherapy mist and this is from a company called three drops of life i will link them down below i also have a 20 percent off coupon code for you guys so you can get this pretty affordable so i have two different ones here i have balance and i have calming now, if you like the really relaxing scents, you'll like this. So this one is Relax, Soothing, and Anti-Anxiety. And you can spray this in your room. I didn't spray this one yet. I sprayed the calming one. So I didn't smell this one. Ooh, this smells good. This almost has like a lemony mint scent to it. it smells really nice. So you can spray this in your room. You can spray it on your pillows. You can put it on your wrists and it's just supposed to be balancing. So there's this one, and then there's also the calming one, which I've already sprayed, because Scott and I wanted to test it out the other night. This one I really like. I'm gonna spray this on the bed. Oh yes, it just smells like a spa. It smells so good. So I've been testing out this one, and I just sprayed this one now, but if you guys are interested in this, like I said, I'll link it down below, and I do have two extra ones, so I wanted to give it away to someone. Um, so if you guys are interested in winning both of these, then just let me know in the comments down below and I'll just pick someone randomly in a week. But yeah, these smell really, really good. So I think I'm going to clean because I feel like my life is constantly a mess or just cluttered. So I'm going to clean, I'm going to organize my makeup and I'm going to take you guys with me today. All right, we are gonna go through everything in here because I usually keep this underneath my makeup table, but it is extremely dusty. I actually don't know if I even wanna keep this. So I'm just gonna go through each one and pull out the drawers and see what I actually use and actually wanna keep. So I'm just gonna move this back a tiny bit. This was really heavy to lift up. All right, so I have some blushes. Like, I don't know why this is in here. This goes in here. I have a lot of blushes and highlighters. Let me see the ones that I actually use. I'm gonna keep Hot Mama and Bahama Mama. It's a good like contour bronze shade. This is so old. I'm gonna throw this out. Um, I've had this since Sephora and Pantone Universe color was, what color is this? I don't know, Orchid I think. So I'm gonna toss this, it is really pretty. Or maybe I'll just donate it. I don't know, I'll put that off to the side. Then we have this from ColourPop. It is a bronzer. I will keep this. I don't really use it, but 
Maybe I can actually start trying to use it. This pixie highlight is on another level. If you're looking for like a blinding highlight from the drugstore, wait until you see this. Like, are you kidding? You can find this at Target. It is beautiful. Keeping that. This blush, I'm going to, is this like a blush or a highlighter? Super Shock Cheek Pearlize Mr. Wind. I'm gonna get rid of this because I never use it. Put that off to the side. This I'm gonna keep from Anastasia. Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. This is pretty much done, so I'm gonna get rid of that. We have a really deep bronzer from Anastasia. But I'm gonna keep that for the summer. This is my favorite blush ever. I need a new one of these. I'm still gonna keep this even though there's like hardly anything there, but I love that blush. It's called Unlawful. This one I'm gonna keep, no, I'm gonna get rid of that one. That one's from Becca. Mary Luminizer, keeping that. Keeping that one. And Gold Rush. I'm gonna get, hmm, that looks pretty. I guess I'll keep that, pretty vulgar. Um, Tarte, I'm gonna keep these. Okay, I really wanna just skip those two drawers for now because I know this is my big project and my camera's dying, so I wanna get through all of these foundations because this is a lot. This is a little too much. So we're obviously keeping the A Cosmetic CC Cream because I love this stuff. Givenchy um, Photo Perfection Foundation Praline. I think that's a good shade for me. Keeping that. Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue number five. I'll keep that for the summer. I'm missing so many lids. Look at all these lids that are missing. Yikes. Okay, this Smashbox one, 2.4, maybe. It looks dark. The Lauder Double Wear is my favorite foundation, or one of them. 2N1, amazing. Air Flash will keep. This is a mess. I don't even use Fenty anymore. This is a good one. Is this good? What shade is this? Okay, I'm going to get rid of the Tarte Light Medium Neutral Stick. That looks a bit pink. See that? Looks very pink. I'm also going to donate the Skin Love. I don't think I love this. I'm gonna donate this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector. It's a blurring skin tint. I'm gonna donate that one. Mm, getting rid of that. This is way too light. Perfect Vanilla from Givenchy. I'm gonna donate that one. Donating this one as well, the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. That is thick as thick can be. Hourglass Vanish Stick in Golden. I want to get rid of this because I've had it for such a long time. It's probably old. Ooh, I was looking for this. Can't Stop Won't Stop. Really like this foundation. Does that go in that? No. Uh, this one from Hourglass, I'm going to keep. It's in the shade Nude. Keeping that. I'm going to give this another try. It's the NARS. It's really dirty, but it's the NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer. Wow. Really love that for the summer. I'm going to get rid of these Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in G40. I'm getting rid of that. This Hydrating Shape Tape Foundation was a major fail for me. Um, and it's very, very pink. So... We're going to be getting rid of that one for sure. It's like brand new though. Let me get rid of that. This is super light for me, but I really do like the foundation. It's Bare Minerals Bare Pro. It's really, really good. And now I'm just going to quickly do the primers because this drawer drives me absolutely nuts. And there's a ton of primers I don't use. So, I used this one today. I actually really liked it. It is Bye Bye Pores Primer from It Cosmetics. I liked that a lot. The illuminating one, I've always loved this one. It's running really low, but I love it. I'm going to toss the Milk Makeup Blur Stick because it felt really, really stiff today. So, getting rid of that. 
Um, calming primer will keep. Pore minimizing will keep. Blurring will keep. This is pretty much empty from Becca. Loved it, but it's empty. Love this coconut primer. Um, is this pretty or no? Oh, it is pretty. Okay, this is more like a highlight. Let's see if it fits in one of these drawers. No. All right, I'll keep that because I do like it. All right, moving on to the concealers and the CC creams or tinted moisturizers. I'm gonna toss this um, ColourPop concealer. It's pretty old and empty. I'm also going to get rid of the Makeup Revolution concealer because I didn't really like that. Love the foundation, but didn't really like that. The Jouer one I'm going to keep. It's a little bit light, but I'm going to keep it. The e.l.f. one is so light. It's so light. That's insane. This is the shade Medium Peach. Are you kidding? I've said this before, but like, there's no way that's medium. It doesn't make sense. I'm tossing that. It Cosmetics Keeping. The um, Ultra Pear Tinted Moisturizer. Keeping that. Another ColourPop one. Tossing. Uh, medium light warm from Urban Decay. Getting rid of that. Getting rid of another color pop. Getting rid of another Urban Decay. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this peach corrector. I like it for my nose ring area, but I don't really use it. So I'm gonna donate this medium golden at Cosmetics Bye Bye under eye coverage, whatever. These I'm gonna get rid of this I'm gonna get rid of the Urban Decay Naked Skin one and done getting rid of that getting rid of the Revlon photo ready it's a color correcting pen keeping that getting rid of that I'll keep this tinted moisturizer I'll keep that getting rid of the under eye getting rid of that I really need to get my Tarte Shape Tape because that is like the best and I haven't had them in such a long time. These I keep, but what's this box doing? That doesn't make sense. Let's get rid of the box. Super fan mascara. I don't even open that one. This I'm keeping. That getting rid of. This I'll keep because it looked pretty. Did I touch this? No. Keeping those. Getting rid of that. One comb click and glow. I'll try that out. Getting rid of that. Butter bronzer. Obsession. That should be up there. Oh, I've got another Hula bronzer. Nothing better than a new one. Keep that up there. Okay, does anyone even get MAC lipsticks anymore? Like, I feel like that's not a thing. I think I'm keeping these just so I can get a new MAC lipstick. Should I wear one? I never wear MAC lipsticks anymore. Remember when Rebel was like the color to wear from MAC? Yuck. Okay, I think I did pretty well. I need to clean this because it looks really dirty and disgusting, but I think I did really well. This palette, super dusty. I'm getting rid of this for sure. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for today. I just wanted to kind of clean this out. I'm still gonna dust it and um, clean it up a bit, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.